We finally have a 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Wilderness on the lot that I can highlight for you guys, walk around and show you all the details and the cool things about this new trim line for the Crosstrek. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subarus. So if you think you might enjoy those kinds of videos, click on that subscribe button down below. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave those down below. And if you wouldn't mind, be sure to click that like button. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. So starting out with the exterior design, the Crosstrek Wilderness comes exclusively in this geyser blue color. So you can only get that on the Wilderness trim. You have the anodized copper accent pieces throughout on the roof rails, on the side of the car, up front and in the rear on the tow hook caps. Of course, with this one being the wilderness trim, it is more off-road capable than your standard Crosstrek. You can see it with the rugged design with the additional cladding on the wheel wells and on the sides of the doors. And this has 9.3 inches of ground clearance compared to the 8.7 that you see on a standard Crosstrek. The Crosstrek Wilderness gets a special wheel and tire design. So these are the 17 inch matte black alloy wheels. I much prefer these over the other Wilderness trim. So if you look at the Wilderness Outback and the Wilderness Forester, those have a different design for the alloy wheels. I think this is a lot better looking and you have those same Yokohama all-terrain Geolander tires, great for snow and climbing hills. Under the hood, we get the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated boxer four-cylinder engine. This is an upgrade from the standard two liter engine that you see on some of the other cross track lines. You can only get this 2.5 liter on the Sport, the Limited, and the now cross track Wilderness. It's the same powertrain that you see in the Forester and even the Forester Wilderness. And this is, I will tell you from experience, driving these through the mountains in Tennessee, taking them on the closed course we drove them on. This is more than enough power, more than enough performance to get you up and down those hills. The Crosstrek Wilderness gets a redesigned front grille with this hexagon style. You have the LED headlights and the hexagonal LED fog lights. There is something hidden back inside this grille we'll talk about in just a second for the performance upgrade. But on the hood, a lot of people think this is a design characteristic and it's sort of like a racing stripe, but that is not the case. This has a functional purpose. If you are climbing steep hills on a nice sunny day, if the sun is beaming down on this hood, it's going to blind you. And so that's why you have this matte black decal on the hood of all the Subaru Wilderness line. So what's hidden inside the grill here? Well, if you look down here, you'll see something that looks like a small radiator. That is the transmission cooler that allows this to have additional towing capabilities. So your standard Crosstrek only has 1,500 pounds of towing capabilities, but the Crosstrek Wilderness gets 3,500 pounds towing. And if you compare the towing on this to the other Wilderness line, the Outback Wilderness has 3,500 pounds as well, while the Forester Wilderness, even though it has the same powertrain, only has 3,000 pounds towing capabilities. And the reason for that is this weighs 500 pounds less than a Forester, but it has the same engine. Of course, with this being a Subaru, even though it is the wilderness trim, they don't skip out on any of the safety equipment. You still have Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive standard on this, standard eyesight system, those cameras up there control the forward collision automatic braking, and for the rear, you have blind spot detection on both of the side mirrors. This one doesn't have it, but Subaru gives you the option to add a package for an additional $2,270 that will add the power moonroof, the power driver's seat, and the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system. On the Outback Wilderness and the Forester Wilderness, we get a full-size matching spare. Unfortunately, that's not the case with the Crosstrek Wilderness. Because it is a smaller vehicle, they have limitations on storage. So here is your spare, just a temporary spare. It's not that full size that we see on the other Wilderness line, but it was either that or reduce the tank size. And Subaru knows that people are going to want to go on adventures with these, take these on longer trips. So they kept the larger tank size and sacrificed the full size spare. The Crosstrek Wilderness gets its own unique cargo trade design that looks like this with the Wilderness logo. You have the one handle 
now for the cargo cover makes it easier to open and close that this does come out by the way so if you don't want that in there you can take that out and fold the seats down completely flat you get the led light back here for better visibility when you're loading and unloading at night and this one doesn't come standard with the trailer hitch but we had this one installed for the customer so this is what the oem subaru trailer hitch looks like on the Crosstrek Wilderness. Just like the Outback and the Forester Wilderness, Subaru carried over this StarTex upholstery on the interior of the car. You have the darker gray with the light gray two-tone and the gold stitching throughout, even carried over to the steering wheel as well. This is a water repellent material that is incredibly easy to keep clean compared to your carpet and your genuine leather. The all-weather floor mats come standard on the Wilderness trim and they carry over that same design that we saw in the cargo area up front. As we've seen in the other 2024 Subaru Crosstrek and pretty much all the other Subaru line now, they have moved over to this large 11.6 inch touchscreen display. And now not only do you have the wireless charger standard on the Wilderness trim, but you have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Makes it easy to hop in and go without having to fool with connecting your phone. But if you do still want to rely on physical cables, you have the USB-C and the USB-A connection there if needed. If you're curious what the Apple CarPlay looks like, We'll go into it now. This gives you the ability to connect to navigation, music, phone call, and text all from your phone. So whenever you click on this, it shows in large portrait mode your navigation. Also, by the way, now if you have Android, we have finally been given the ability to have full portrait mode for Android users as well. So it makes it really easy and convenient when driving. All of the Crosstreks have X mode, but the Crosstrek Wilderness has dual function X mode with additional capabilities. So if you're unfamiliar with what X mode does, Subarus have the symmetrical all-wheel drive that is active at all times, but if you are stuck in snow, stuck on a gravel road, and, and you're, you're not moving forward, you can put your vehicle in X mode, either snow dirt or deep snow, depending on the situation you are in. It does two things. It will prioritize traction when you're climbing a hill. So if the front right wheel is slipping, it will stop power to that wheel and send, prioritize that power to the other three wheels to regain movement. Or if you are going downhill, this has hill descent control. I used this recently in Tennessee when we test drove these through the mountains and through the trails. It works really well. So up to 12 miles an hour, the car will automatically brake for you. So you can focus on steering instead of focusing on braking. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth video, hands-on experience of taking these off-roading through the trails in Tennessee, click on the YouTube card above to the right. That will show you not only the Crosstrek Wilderness, but also the Outback and the Forester Wilderness. Up top, we have the standard roof rails that we see on all the other Crosstreks. These have a static load capacity of 700 pounds. So when you're sitting still, these can hold up to 700 pounds. You can equip this with an accessory to add a rooftop tent, but I believe you have to get, you can't just get the standard crossbars. You have to get the Thule extended crossbars or something comparable to that in order to put a rooftop tent up there safely. You can get the Crosstrek Wilderness in a ton of different color options. So you're not excluded to just the geyser blue or even just the blacks, the whites, and the grays that we've seen on all of our other lineup. If you wanna see details on all of the colors you can get in this, click on the YouTube card above to the right and it shows all the colors at a quick glance that you can get on this car. That about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions on the Crosstrek Wilderness or any Subaru model for that matter, comment down below. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. If you haven't done so already and you enjoyed today's video, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out a lot. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.